taking a little tour, walking the meter 20 course. There goes Chris Kapler and a bunch of his students. This was fence one, and then a direct line to fence two. We'll start out the meter 20s. All the way down and around meter 20. After the big yellow jump, they're gonna continue around and go to fence number three, which is a little bit of a skinny over here, leading up into the Grand Prix. VIP tent, and then after they do this jump, Come around by the in gate. Turn here with a track to a Liverpool Oxer, which is fence four. After four, they'll continue upon landing deep into their corner. All the way around. Fence is five. B, which would be a nice oxer to vertical in and out. And the six will be straight ahead in front. All three fences in a row. After this, Everyone is checking out the footing and the steps to get where they need to be. There's fence six. And looking for fence seven, which will be way over here. We'll come all the way around the arena. Fence 7 will be right back, cutting through the center of the ring with your eye on Fence 8, which will be a broken line, fairly decent sized oxer. After Fence 8, nice forward right hand turn to a, away again from the in gate they'll have to go around to fence nine sense as they continue on down to fence 11A, B, and C. The prestige group of jumps. And pretty soon they will then be able after this impressive A, B, and C group of fences. They will come around and finish up all the way around to fence 12, which is a good size oxer. It's always interesting to hear what people have to say. Melissa and I'm Jeffrey Wells telling his clients what to do. And then we go around an imposing, very airy oxer since number 12. And uh, if you come here to play, you better be ready because they're not fooling around. This is a beautiful course designed by Guillermo. And again,
discussing the track with their students on a beautiful Friday afternoon in Princeton. 